Well, I cleaned up my messy sketch a little bit to make it a little easier for me to see the bare bones of what it is I want to draw now. If I want to encompass this much, given the size and shape of the paper I'm working on, I think I can probably get about this much, but maybe less at the top is always more attractive and more space at the bottom. You'll notice that when you see a painting with a mat on it, that there's usually more depth down here. It gives your eye a place to invite you in. So, okay, so now I've got this in front of me, I can start so I know approximately where I want the sofa to end, somewhere down here. I want room for carpet though, so maybe up a little bit here. And I want this wall at the top to be somewhere around here. And I've got about that much room down here. So that's my sofa, that's my other wall. And now I can start to think about my angle for my, I'm trying to see and match the angle for my bay window and find out how much depth I should leave for that. So this in and of itself, even though I know we don't, we won't, we're doing this so we don't have to do it anymore. But even so, it's an excellent exercise because I'm trying to get the exact proportions that I see there. And that's quite challenging. I'm trying to be as direct with my pen as I can be. I'm looking to see how much wall. So now, in doing that, in placing the bottom of my sofa, the top of my ceiling, and how much space I have on either side for my wall to go, I've got a beginning now. And now I'm looking at how much depth for the window in relation to the sofa, and how much seat for the sofa, and the back for the sofa, and my, my light. So this little sketch is really, although it's nasty looking, that little sketch is pretty nasty looking, it's giving me everything I need. And of course, if you were drawing it from imagination, freehand, which is our goal, you wouldn't be comparing like this, you, you just know what to do, but and that was so that would be a very different experience but to get there you have to cover miles and miles of paper this way okay so now i can have a look at my i'm getting the angles the angles for my lines from this little sketch i'm i got those angles from my little sketch my comparative measure from how big is this in relation to that. I got that from my little sketch. So, and I'm just working my way around. And all of these little lines, I know we like to keep our drawings very clean, but all of these little lines are giving my drawing some energy. They're gestures and everything has a gesture. Even furniture has a gesture. So. It has a rhythm and a gesture, so it's contributing as well to this. Making sure your arms line up. They have to line up. And then I can build my details on my basic drawing. But this is going much more quickly than if I just started out on the page And I hadn't had a lot of experience of drawing. It, if you have, then this seems like a lot of extra work, but until you're there, this is the way to get yourself there. Okay. And it has these, my sofa has these little flirty legs, so I'm gonna put those. Remember, they, they usually don't go all the way out to the edge, so 
you have a little bit of edge there. And I have my camelback, as I was mentioning, so it's quite, there's my tea cushion, and the cushion is plump, so it's going to, and I should stop scraping at this now and start using my other pen, but I just want to get make sure everything lines up so this wall goes this way this is drapery here there's a there's a panel that comes across molding I want molding up here that comes straight across the whole bay I'm treating the bay as one window and then there's a little bit of wall here so it picks up the color of the wall in the rest of the room and this now is drapery, drapery that folds over. This is drapery. And it comes down, there's pinch pleats. I want pinch pleats for this bit of damask there. Now remember when you um, are going to transfer to marker paper, you're going to clean this up some more, but you need this preliminary drawing just to make sure these two line up across. I think this should be a little lower. Okay, now I've got my, um, I should really have an idea of where the center is so I can put my camel back. I, you might find too that you scrape less when you're using your your Pentel sign pen, your Pentel, your paper mate. Getting into the drawing now, so I'm losing my ability to speak well. But um, you might find that you scrape less too if you're that scritching isn't going to give you an attractive drawing but this is just our first pass so and then maybe a, a really big cushion over here I've got to draw my arm first now I've raised that arm over on the other side so I better raise it over on this side and there's cushion big nice thick cushion here And this one, I'm just going to go in and over. It's got to come over there. And then you... There isn't an obvious line here, so when I render it, I'd have to bring bring that down. Now, then there's that little bit of a, a, a very subtle curve here. And this kind of goes over. It's a... Kind of a so all our curvilinear lines, all that practice with our curvilinear lines is paying off every every time we use it. So and then I want to get some planking in because it's going to have a nice dark hardwood floor. So I'm going to have um, these wood blinds that are going to go across here and I have in the middle I have this to put and I have it over here and this turns and these go this way they unroll this way And I promise you, if you do enough of this, you won't need a preliminary drawing. You'll be able to just do all of this with your pen. Now this part of the window is covered by the draperies. I can even put a little more if I want to, to bring that, to soften that wall. 
And these are leaded windows. I should be keeping these even, but I'm trying to keep my head out of the way. It'll just give a feel for it. When you clean it up with your ruler, if you were going to render it, you, but it, just to give a feel for it and see how that looks. Okay. And then our lamp is going to be high. So I've got, I didn't prepare for you to put my lamp in. And then it's just metal ellipses, just metal here. And just to get a feel for how this looks and if you just did it as a quick sketch you can do it just that loosely if you have a pattern in your carpet remember where your center is and you have to find something that's going to work across all of them remember if it's in any way an identifiable pattern with an identifiable shape you have to make it flat the way our ellipses are. If you don't, then it won't look, it will sit up on the floor and we don't want it sitting up. We want it to lie down in space. And you just let it taper off as you go and you put your wood grain in.